I set up Graffiti Observer back in 2009 as a web-only publication. And in 2011, I quit my job and decided to take it on full time. And then in May 2013, we launched a tabloid print edition covering Caffili County Borough. We try and do as much court and council and crime as we can do. But one of the areas that I really wanted to concentrate on was the, the real grassroots stuff, the, the kind of things that sometimes can get ignored or generally get ignored by, by the bigger newspapers. Even though Caffili Observer is a free newspaper, I always try and design it to look like a paid for title um, because people want to see news at the end of the day on the pages. Adverts of course are important because that's what pays for the pays for the print. But it is you know, it is the news that people want to read. I think the days of paid for newspapers are, are definitely numbered. But I think if it's free and it's there, people will pick it up and they'll read it if they're interested in it. I'm from Caffili, born and bred, very proud of where I'm from. But uh, I, 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 I was living and working down on the south coast of England, southeast coast of England, when I set up Graffiti Observer. The main drive really was I wanted to keep up with what was going on back home. And I noticed that there wasn't that much provision of news of what was going on back home. So I did rely quite a lot on press releases, especially from the police and the council. Um, and it was very, very difficult when people called me up to cover a story I actually t had to tell them that I was based 200 miles away. You know, I still managed to, to get it done. And I think if you are going to overcome the obstacles and the challenges, you, you need that passion and commitment and drive to really to really push it forward. So I think the, the trick is not to panic and not to feel overwhelmed. So if you think a particular area isn't being covered by the mainstream press, then go for that. So... I went for the more traditional route of uh, police and council because they were the areas that I didn't think were being covered particularly well at the time. Now that's changed, I'm glad to say. I became a journalist because I love talking to people and I love meeting people and I'm very nosy. I love telling other people what I know. Um, so that I think that is the core. That is the core of what you need really. You could do whatever you want, really. I mean, that, that's that's the beauty about the internet nowadays is that you can technology. You know, you don't have to be sat at a computer to to write an article. You know, you can do it on your smartphone on the bus. Uh, you know, you can even do quite good video packages on an iPad, for example. Now, so you know, as long as you've got the bare bones of being able to publish, and you've got that passion for your local community, and you like speaking to people then that, that's all you need, really. The the things that really sort of like stop me in my tracks are the, are the numbers of people that read Caffili Observer. So we do 10,000 newspapers a fortnight and we attract 22,000 unique users to the website. That's, you know, that, that's a shocking amount of people that read Caffili Observer. I've got to stop sometimes and pinch myself and sort of think, is this actually happening? I think a third of our traffic comes from our Facebook page through click-throughs. But to find out what people want to read, you know, that, that, that is fundamental. And the only way you can do that is by getting out there and speaking to people and just just getting getting under the skin of the community. I mean, I'm, I'm quite lucky in that. I love being a journalist on my home patch. I know the types of stories that people want to read about. The hardest thing, um, I would have to say getting a printed newspaper out, but the other big challenge was to make it commercially viable. Getting our first paying advertiser was massive. And then the next biggest thing though was seeing uh, the first print edition of Caffili Observer coming off the press. So that was really special. Um, I got a little bit choked up to be honest. <laughs> it was, you know, it, it was such it was such a huge effort that still sort of gets me that we've actually managed to get a newspaper out again. Um, and I think the day that stops, well, hopefully it won't, but I think, you know, if it ever does stop, then, you know, I think that's the time to finish. But I, I definitely can't see that happening.